What's up guys? Welcome to the experimental tube. Thank you again for watching. This day I will continue on the build of the Hyper Hypercube Evolution. I will be doing the Z axis today and hopefully I'll get it finished. Let's watch. So lately I've done quite some designing and printing of components that we'll be using right now. So let's start by mounting the set stepper into the bracket. Uh, I will be making sure that the wires will come to the aluminum because later on it will make for a very nice and clean install. I'll just be mounting them with some screws in here and then fix them to the frame. I'm just using these M3 screws and a small washer so we can fix them quite good. As always you can find the files in the Thingiverse page so you can print them yourself. So I will be mounting the step on order exactly back to the back of the Centimeters, so that means 30.5 exactly. So that's the first Z axis motor mounted, sturdy as hell, like this. I like it a lot. You can also see why I wanted to mount the wire exit of the stepper motor towards the aluminium. The cables have now the option to be very nicely uh, put away. So this will make sure that we get a really nice and clean install. I like that. So now the Z steppers are mounted, I will be making the frame with the 3030 aluminium uh, extrusions. I will work with the same kinds of angles and mount it in the same way as I did it with the frame, only just a little bit smaller. Okay, so the distance between the end and the beginning needs to be 44 millimeters, so I need to move it a little bit. Thank you. 
downward will mount the LMU 12 bearings into the holders. Very snugly, they don't need any other uh, help or whatever. They just go in and then yeah, they, they don't move by themselves. So they're feeling quite good. Right, but not too tight. So that's good, I like this. So now that the frame for the bed is done, uh, I'll be start mounting these ones on the lower part so they can hold the steel rod, the 12 mm steel rod, and I'll mount them on top. The lower ones, don't tighten them yet uh, because I need to slide them around just a little bit, just positioning everything fits good, and I'll tighten them up. So let's go for this one. the camera okay probably need to uh, replace the lens like I did with the Firefly 6s so kind of experience in this but not wanting to do this got more work to do go so once all bottom four have been mounted. Uh, we'll go and mount the upper ones. Okay, once all of these have been mounted. And it's time to uh, place the steel rods and have a go. We'll figgle, it, figgle it around a little bit, try to find the right position, see if we can get it to work. Okay, so I've got the bars mounted, everything's mounted, fixed it, everything nice and sturdy. And now it's like extremely smooth. Pull it up like this and will run perfectly so okay that's it for this day um, next time I will be mounting the bed itself ah, the bed itself is like this huge nice shiny piece of 8 millimeter aluminium that I will be mounting like so we'll be mounted here um, of course I'll mount the spindles so I think that's for this time. See you next time. If you haven't done it yet, please like and subscribe and see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.